Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as, as it, was it was in the beginning, is now, now, and ever shall be, one with God, and Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. That beautiful gospel that he gives us reminds us of the saving power of Christ in our presence. And so now, as we begin our celebration, let us be mindful of the times we have turned away from the Lord by our sin. Let us now ask his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Today, brothers and sisters, we pray also the glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel. Grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant, you, your opponent, the devil, is prowling round like roaring lion, like a poor summon to devour. Resist to him steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The chosen one at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response is, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever, forever I, will I will sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever through all generations 
my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, forever I, will I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can run with the Lord, who is like the Lord among the sons of God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout in the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. We proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All of the Gospels are beautiful in their own way. In each of the evangelists uh, who write those Gospels had a particular point to make and a particular direction, and all of them are the inspired Word of God. We come to know uh, Jesus through them, and we come to know God's will for us and the world through them. But I have to say, Mark's Gospel is one of those that I think he just gets to the point. Uh, my impression of Mark's Gospel is he doesn't embellish a whole lot. He simply uh, gives us, as they used to say on the old Dragnet show, the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Uh, uh, Mark is one of those uh, who appeals to my, my spirituality in particular because of that. It's like, just let me know what I need to know and then let me get about the business of, of living it. And uh, his gospels, uh, in his gospels, Jesus is uh, the miracle worker, the wonder worker. All of the signs that accompany uh, him are what point to him fulfilling the prophecies of old. And then we see in uh, you know the continuation of that in the church, uh, the truth of what was being proclaimed in the in the uh, gospel. And so Mark is uh, a good gospel to read. It, uh, the, the one that you probably would want to start with before going on to Matthew and uh, Luke and then uh, concluding with John. Mark will give you what you need to know um, right off the bat and then the others will kind of embellish upon it a little bit more. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one you read or which one is your favorite or which one draws you closer to God as long as uh, you look towards the Word of God to do that. And uh, that's the beauty of the, uh, the plan that God had, that each of these evangelists gives us a different perspective, but all pointed to the same reality and the same truth of Jesus Christ being our Savior and the Son of God. <clears throat> Knowing of the Father's great love for us, we now offer our prayers with confidence and trust. 
for all the members of the church. May God bless our efforts to proclaim the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For areas of the world struggling for peace within their borders, may the Holy Spirit lead them in building just societies for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are alienated from God and His Church, may the Holy Spirit open their hearts to respond to Christ's message of love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in, in this faith community, may God soften our hearts that our lives may reflect the humility of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved ones who have died, may they find eternal rest in heaven with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, my brothers and sisters, let us very specially pray for the protection and speedy recovery from the diseases. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, you have asked us to lift our prayers to you. We ask that upon hearing them, you may respond in mercy and love. And we pray this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. 
Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Mark, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. We please to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, the honor of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to your prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we stow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but you will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We're sorry, brothers and sisters, we lost connection there at the close of the Mass. So we will conclude our uh, Mass for today. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the Gospel, which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Just a few announcements too, brothers and sisters. This next week is going to be very important for our parish community, uh, beginning with the fact that the government officials will be looking at issuing new guidelines and hopefully easing up some of the restrictions we have. At the same time, Cardinal Donardo is going to be... Um, meeting with us uh, online uh, about how we will open up uh, churches and begin uh, getting back to normal. So again, we really want you to, to be looking at your uh, emails and flop notes and uh, visiting the website. Uh, we do have a number of beautiful events coming up. We're going to be doing a virtual May crowning on the 1st, and we will also be celebrating Mother's Day uh, for uh, Mother's Day coming up. Uh, and then just a note about uh, what happened here. I'm sorry that uh, you didn't get Mass yesterday, uh, uh, the day before yesterday, in my rush to come in with my phone, I, I dropped it. And uh, I've dropped it before and nothing's happened, but on this particular occasion it hit at just the right angle and the screen kind of uh, cracked just <laughs> all along the, the, uh, the screen. So. Uh, we tried flipping the camera and uh, using the other uh, camera. It turns out that has more resolution, but that also makes the file bigger. So when we were trying to download it, I, I looked at the time it said. It said uh, an hour, and then it came down to a half hour. So I checked back a half hour later, and now it was telling me it was going to be another two hours. <laughs> came back and checked, and it was going to be three hours. So we realized that uh, we weren't going to be able to get that one to you, but uh, if we may have a few glitches because of the screen being what it is, but 
hopefully you'll you'll get the mass and uh, uh, it's really a shame because that was my best homily I think yesterday in my 31 years of priesthood that was the best one right one yeah, yeah. see Father Joy agrees out <laughs> we'll find a way to get that out to you um, so again uh, we're also going to be sending a second video out today which is going to ask or answer some of the questions that our young people uh, submitted to us uh, for us to answer for them and uh, we're looking forward to doing that so be looking for that as well thank you and stay healthy <laughs>